to make a long story short, Dexter is still on that scamming shit and managed to convince Ed to sign the contract to franchise out the Good Burger business in exchange for a healthy payout. However, as you probably can guess, things didn't go as planned. Look, I'll get right to the point. Megacorp understands how valuable Good Burger is, right? And if you sign this contract, what are you doing? I'm just reading the menu. Knock it off. Uh, Ed, now look, I know you have some concerns, right? But I want you to understand something. You're still gonna be the face of Good Burger. So nothing's gonna happen to the original Good Burger. All the employees will be able to keep their jobs. In fact, we don't give everybody races. You hear that? Well, I still hear you wrong. Well, Dex is my best friend, and if he thinks it's the right thing to do... I do. Then I'll do it. <laughs> Just make it official. All I need here is your signature, and we good to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, it's a pleasure doing business with you, sir. <laughs> a few moments later. You're all fired! I like that! Fire! 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 It's hot! Oh, you mean we're really fired. We thought we were getting raises. Now, we're still partners on this, all right? And that is not the deal. We say that nobody's getting fired. According to this contract you signed without reading, we could do anything we want. It also says we're not partners at all. Matter of fact, hey, you just got hustled by a real hustler, playboy. Pissed off because of job loss, the duo, along with a handful of new characters, comes up with a plan to bring back Ed's business. And like any other Nickelodeon movie, it ends on a happy note. But your boy, The True TV, wasn't happy at all. And the first question that came to my mind was where the fuck is Monique at? They managed to bring back Cunny and Fizz as original characters, but I guess they couldn't do the same for our sister. Not to mention, they brought back Roxanne, who was Ed's love interest in the first movie. They even gave this nigga a whole wife, plus multiple kids. You would think they'll do the same for Dick's character and bring back Monique as his wife. But instead, we get a quick celebrity cameo, starring Shark Jackson as herself, not the nostalgic character, Monique. Ooh, I know what we can do. We can get a bunch of random celebrities, get them all together, and have them sing a song about saving Good Burger. Well, I guess it's their loss. Short Jackson is still a bad and hasn't aged a bit. She could have easily picked up where she left off in this mid-ass sequel. 